Day 17, the week is officially a wrap. Happy weekend to everybody. Uh, what I wanna talk about today is something that I overheard while I was working out at the gym. These two gentlemen were having a conversation about whether you take protein before or after your workout. So I researched heavy on this. And in the entirety of the 30 minutes that I did the research, I found that it is recommended that you take protein after the workout. Now, there are mixed reviews as to whether you take it within the first 30 minutes as opposed to just taking it throughout the day. I myself prefer to take it right after I work out. I've noticed myself and maybe it's a placebo but i've noticed that it makes a difference for me if it applies to you you could try it that way <laughs> if not uh, again it, it's it's mixed reviews across the board so stick to what works for you now if you want to eat something before your workout what i did read to do and what i do is <clears throat> uh, eating something with carbs in it because what carbs does or carbohydrates does is it provides your body energy so when you eat that before your workout and it's suggested you want to do it like two hours before i don't have two hours so like 30 minutes is like the max um latest time to eat it <laughs> so like you want to eat maybe as soon as you wake up uh as you're getting dressed and everything just eat it get to the gym, start stretching, uh, maybe even run a 30 minute timer for yourself. That way you can see, okay, like it's been 30 minutes since I ate a meal. Now I can get into my workout. Speaking of the workouts for this week, I'll be a little honest here. I don't feel satisfied. So I think it's either I have to push myself a little more and move up weights, which is kind of tough sometimes because uh, while there, while I do have one of my buddies there, maybe every other morning, he's not there all the time. And if he's not there, I'm sort of working out by myself. And it makes it a little scary trying to push it because if you do give yourself like 13 reps in reserve <laughs> and you, you're lifting a weight, uh, say you move up and you think you have a 10 and you want to go for a 10, you, you won't be able to do that because you don't have a spotter, especially if it's the free weights. Now you can go on like a machine and you could push yourself that way to which if that is the case, if the machine is available, then yeah, I'll, I'll push a little heavier. Otherwise, I think I might go back to the 50 reps. I'll think about it. I'll, I'll look at it again over the weekend. I'll put together my workout schedule for the next week and we'll see where we get to from there. But let's get into the workouts <clears throat> for today. And for today, we did a total of seven workouts which started with the dips at my body weight for 30 reps, the barbell rows for 30 reps, the squats for 30 reps, the plank three sets of one minute and five seconds, the flutter kicks three sets of 40, so that's 120 total, the rear deltoid flies 30 total reps, and the pec fly at a lower angle for uh, another 30 reps. And for my meals for today, or meal and water, sorry. I'm at five out of eight pints of water. As always, I'll catch up to that as I'm editing and finishing up the video, getting it on YouTube. And for the food, I'm at 1700 calories and 112 grams of protein. I have a, well, it's Friday, okay? So I have a double cheeseburger from Five Guys and that has a pretty good amount of protein <laughs> as well as calories so i should be at probably 2600 calories and 150 ish grams of protein <laughs> by the time i finish 
that little burger over there. It's not little by any means, but it, you know, I'll call it a little burger to downplay it. And that's all. Once again, happy weekend, everybody. Take it easy. Stay safe. Stay cool. <laughs>